Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to uh, show you the. Uh, this is my this is my weed whacker motor or slash edger, whatever you want to call it. Um, my problem I have with it is for one the uh, the axle without the the uh, nut on it is way too small to actually fit either a spindle on there or a propeller, I mean, whatever I'm going to use. I mean, because I was actually going to use this for a scooter, mount this on the side, and have the flywheel run up against the wheel. I'm not sure how that, how good that would work out, but, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure. But, uh, first of all, um, this is the front of it. Then, and I think, I'm actually not sure, because I think this spark plug was either for, like, a different model weed whacker, or a lawnmower or something, I'm not sure. But for some reason, when I uh, just put it on, put some gas in it, it ran fine. So, I mean, I guess, and yeah. Um, here's the other side. There was a pull start on this, but the uh, pull start went bad, so I took that off. And uh, another thing is the uh, muffler. I tried to get that off, but for some reason, it either rusted onto the engine or something because I took out both of the there was only two screws holding it on I took out both of the screws and I tried yanking it off tried sticking a screwdriver in there trying to pull it off and stuff and that didn't work I, I don't know but um yeah because it's the the muffler it's it doesn't bug out nothing nothing's wrong with the engine I just need to make a gas tank I'll just take an old pop bottle and put a tube in it or something with some gas but yeah um yeah, but, uh, I was going to put, like, the muffler in, like, some, like, anti-rust solution or whatnot, and basically, yeah. All right, now, what I was talking about earlier was this. Okay, this is what connects on to this and the, where the pole goes. Now, the clutch housing is in here, and if you can see in there, it's held in there by a C-clip. And I do not have a tool that I can get in there and put the sheet clip together so I can get the clutch housing out. And then if that happens, if I get the clutch out, then I have no way of actually keeping it on there because there was a, uh, uh, the actual clutch was on this. It just screwed on and then tightened it on and it just went against that like that. So, yeah, um, I'm not sure what I want to do because I would either have to... What I already started doing, I just didn't go through it all the way. I took a hacksaw and tried cutting this off so I could get to the clutch but still have it be around in here so I could still attach it to this but then have a sprocket on there for, like, if I wanted to make a bike, uh, you know, something like that. But um, because of how this is, I don't know if I can use this for the clutch. But... I mean, I've never seen anyone use the flywheel as, you know, as the actual rotor itself. So, um, I just, yeah, it's just, it's really, really hard. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to know what you guys thought about it. It's very complicated stuff. I mean, sometimes to you guys, because I know you guys build your friction bikes and, and stuff all the time, and you may think it's, you know, it, I mean, I guess, because... I don't have a lot of tools and stuff. I I don't have like a lot of things. I don't I don't I don't even know anybody that welds or anything. So it's like it's really hard for me. But I just want to do it. I want, I'm motivated. I just want to do this. I mean, I've had I have so many. I have like a I think it's a McCullen chainsaw. Yeah, that's I guess it, my grandpa was like, yeah, I got this old McCullen chainsaw, and I'm like, what's that? I don't, I don't even know what that is, but now I do, and I took it apart, and I was going to clean it because the throttle wasn't even hooked up to it, even though it's a chainsaw, I, I don't know, but yeah, it's just, uh, I just want to know what you guys think I should do with this motor, maybe mount it on a scooter, mount it on a bike, I don't know, I just, I want to do it, not for, just be like, yeah, I got a motor scooter, or I got a motorized bike, it's just because it's cool, it's something that, you know, not everybody has one, except on YouTube. <laughs> everybody around my area doesn't have a weed whacker bike. I mean, you just don't see those a lot, except on YouTube. And another thing what I was doing with here was, 
I cut a gap in here for the clutch housing. Now what I was going to do, it would be like an idolized friction, basically. Um, yeah, it would just be on like this, and I actually tried it. And the wheel met up with this, and it it didn't work. But I don't know. It, I have no way really of mounting it on the scooter. And uh, if uh, you guys want to know, if you guys want to know what the scooter looks like too, I'll just make another video. I really don't have problems with it because I just use my phone and uploads directly from my phone anyway. So, but yeah. Um. All right. Thanks, guys, and uh, I'll make another video soon. All right. Bye-bye.